before you decide where you want to give and how you want to give, to drill down into values and why you're giving and what it is that you would actually like to accomplish. Um, and, and what does the family stand for? You know, what are some of the underlying ethics and principles? And, and you talked about legacy, which I think is very key, even in one's lifetime. You know, what has the family stood for in the community? How are they perceived? And how do all these values that the family has upheld, how does this translate into an approach to your philanthropy? So I think that kind of, deeper dive into understanding the family, their values, and then navigating that um, sometimes challenging intergenerational conversation about the values, which often align. I think that's one of the most interesting things when I have these multi-generational uh, multi conversations, that the values themselves don't vary so much, but how each generation sees them expressed can, can take on many different shapes. Um, but we do start with using a lot of exercises and spending time with different family members to, to discuss the values, how they see them, what they, would, what they would personally like to accomplish. And from there, we're usually able to bring the family around the general idea so that they can coalesce and then begin the process of then understanding who do we want to give to? What's our issue? How does it make sense for us as a family? The other thing is the complete counterpoint, apart from legacy, is the problem with really large families. And you know, it's one thing if there's a couple generations when you have five or six generations and it's a big family, that cohesion is complicated, it may not be possible. So how are you going to actively and meaningfully engage other subsequent generations and maybe philanthropy is a good way for the family apart from whatever the legacy is to find meaningful ways to interact in, in their community in the world to be a global citizen I, I think in many ways uh, you know philanthropy helps with this and there are very many ways to be entrepreneurial or innovative in their approaches um, 